Well, how are you feeling? You, oh man, that stuff on my shirt. <laughs> How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. I thank you for watching and I do hacks and tutorials on how to build your own Nintendo games, how to put yourself in your favorite Nintendo game, and even how to put that on a cartridge. Perfect for birthdays and Christmas. If you're interested in stuff like that, check out the playlist below. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos and tutorials and make sure you click that bell icon for first alerts as well. Now my buddy Felipe, he's my buddy now because Felipe from Brazil, currently lives in Iceland, sent me a nice care package a couple of months ago. And every time I show pictures of it, every time you see it in the background, I get more people saying, hey, what's that thing? Show me that thing. What's that all about? So I'm gonna show it to you right now and I'll talk a little bit more about it too. It is this, a Sega Master System, 132 games in one plug and play from Tectoy, which means it is officially licensed by Sega. Tectoy is the official license for Sega in Brazil and how they got away with putting 132 games in one on a system and made it officially licensed, don't know, don't care. So long as I got one in my hands. Now I've heard of this thing before. I've heard of it before. I've tried looking online. Like eBay doesn't really carry them. Tectoy does ship, but Tectoy does not deliver outside of Brazil. So I even have, I contacted Tectoy personally saying, hey, you know, if I pay for one, can you send it? And they said, no, you can't. <laughs> So I was like, well, unless you know someone in Brazil who can ship. And um, and Felipe hooked it up, man. So thank you, Felipe. Now you still notice it has the sticker on here. And I wanted to share with you the unstickering of the uh, little dust strip. So this is, ready? Here we go, check this out. Oddly satisfying right there. There is the on-off switch. Two controller ports, very standard Genesis style controller ports, a hardwired power cord, that thing's not coming out unless you break it. And then it's just the two, uh, much like uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. And if you're wondering about the power source, you're right. Because it's from Brazil, Brazil is PAL M. And M stands for mother, I don't know what the M stands for, but this is what, whenever you hear of PAL, it's like this. You can't just plug this into your light socket and then have it work. Fortunately. They make converters, and they are super cheap. Ah, there we go. And that will work. The other thing is, yes, it will work on your television when you plug it in with the uh, the yellow and red cords. However, it's black and white, because you can probably take it through a framester or something like that, but I don't have one of those, and I don't have any tools to make it work like that. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you play it, Unfortunately, it will be black and white, so keep that in mind. But if you had all the tools and all the right things and everything like that, it would be in color. But And it also did come with two controllers. Now, they look like Sega six-button controllers. There is no mode button. And yeah, it's Sega Master System, so you only really need two of these. And it's like basically these two are the ones you use. This one is a copy of this one. And then to reset the game, you press all three of these. So, you know, whatever. It works. That's all that matters to me. Power on. Now this is interesting, as on my monitor, on my monitor, it's black and white. However, on the capture card, it's color. Now that's interesting, that's cool. So, um, this is the title screen, 132.1 uh, Juegos. It's hard to read with the uh, compressed text there. <laughs> we'll see what we got. Um, I'll just show you a quick view of what games there are. And some of these you'll recognize, some of them you may not, but you have all the Alice Kid games. There's Alien Syndrome, Altered Beast, and again, even with its 132 games in one, it's still not everything. It's still not every game. And I believe I wouldn't be surprised if there were some Sega uh, Game Gear games thrown in here as well. So here's all the A's to B's. Oops. I guess we'll just play this for a second. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I hit the wall, apparently. Ah, <laughs> well, all right. So when you're done, just hit those three top buttons. Goes back to the title screen. All right. And if you see something, they're like, "Oh, dude, you gotta play that game." And if you see something that you recognize, like I've never heard of this game before, make sure you shout it out in the comments so I can check it out sometime soon. All right. Hey, Fantasy Zone: The Maze is even in here. That's kind of cool.
Well, that's all of them. And you'll notice Golvis isn't on here, Quartet isn't on here, and um, we have Sonic Drift 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog. Those are the only Sonic games that are on here. So for being that Sonic is on the logo, Sonic is on the label, Sonic is on the machine itself, uh, interesting to see that there's not more of the Sonic games. But, you know, like it doesn't have every game ever, but you know, it has a... Um, Let's, let's do Ice Post Rescue. Let's check that out. Solar Jetman kind of controls. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, <laughs> there we go. Hey, no, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'll check out a couple more games while I'm at it. Why not? And again, if you see a game that you're like, dude, you gotta play that game. That game is super awesome. Uh, tell me about it. Oh my goodness. And again, this is officially licensed, so this is, you know, this came out. All right, I recognize some of those words. Oh, oh, I just hit the button. Oh, it's a door, I see. So if you go into the door, no. Nope. All right, well, and we'll try something uh, more familiar, just so you can see. I'm not sure what yet, though. Um, My Hero, maybe. Penguin Land is a good one. Oh, we'll do uh, Raston. Raston's great. This one's this one's for my buddy Joe Fritz. This one's for Paraptor Keat. He loves Raston. <laughs> this is actually a decent port of Raston. I mean, it's not exactly arcade perfect, but... Oh, up and jump. There we go. Come on. Johnny Weissmuller. Ah! Ah no! <laughs> I can't. I can't turn around. Oh, I don't die automatically. Okay, I'll take it. I thought I, I, thought I did. Maybe I do in the arcade. It's been a while since I played this. And again, there you have it. This is the Tech Toy, the Sega Tech Toy. 132 Sega Master System games in one from Brazil. A dream come true to hold a system like this, and I finally have one. And. Uh, very, very cool to have. Now again, it looked like it was in color, but when I was looking at it from my monitor, um, and there's a delay, so I can't just like watch it off the computer when I'm doing game capture footage, my monitor was showing black and white, but it's cool that it was showing up in color, so maybe there is a hope for me. Maybe there's a way I can patch it back through to the monitor or something like that so I can see the games in color. But this is super, super awesome. Again, thank you, Felipe, for just sending out a random package. Felipe from Brazil. This came from Brazil. He currently lives in Iceland. Um, and there was more to that package too, and we'll check out those things uh, later on too. But this, 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 this is awesome, and thank you very much for watching, and thanks for uh, subscribing, and thanks for checking out this uh, video today. Thank you for watching. Till next time, take care, and we'll see ya.